Hi, and welcome to the Agile Academy. In this Agile in Practice talk, we'd like to show you how Agile teams use burn-up charts to measure and communicate the progress of the project. Burn-up charts highlight risks and help assess real progress against predictions as expressed in the release plan. They provide a reliable basis for decision making and course correction by displaying clear facts and numbers based on past progress. Burn-up charts plot the scope of the release, any changes to scope, the plan delivery and the actual delivery rate. A burn-up chart is a metric representing information in a simple and highly visible way. Donna, the head of HR and the business sponsor of the new employee performance review system, is visiting the team delivering this new system. She looks at the story wall and stops at the HR project burn-up chart. Hey guys, this looks like an interesting chart. Can someone explain it to me please? Susan, the business analyst on the team, volunteers to explain. Sure Donna, this is our release burn-up chart. It shows you the progress we're making against the release plan. Let me explain it in a bit more detail, because it's an important artifact for the whole team. The total work, or baseline scope, for the project is represented by the green line. It refers to the number of story points and is based on the estimations we gave to the story cards during the estimation planning sessions. As you can see, the target was 80 points. After a replanning session, it was changed to 95, based on some of the new requirements you requested. The blue line you can see is the plan progress. The team needs to achieve this in order to deliver all of the scope for the project. Looking at the purple line, you can see our rate of actual progress. This is referred to as our velocity. As you know, we have just finished 4 iterations. In iteration 1, we delivered 4 points. 8 in the 2nd, 6 in the 3rd and 19 in the 4th iteration for a total of 37 points. Given that we want to deliver all 95 story points by the end of iteration 8, we should have delivered 55 points by now. If you have a look at the first 3 iterations, our velocity was pretty much behind what we needed. It was only 18 points when it needed to be 45. In the 4th iteration, the velocity has increased to accommodate the additional scope that was added. This was a great team effort to get back on track by delivering 37 points. The chart clearly allows us to see what is required to deliver the project. So, let me make sure that I understand what you mean. Does it mean that if the velocity in the next iteration continues like the fourth iteration, that the scope will now be met? That's right Donna, if we keep powering through at the present velocity, we should achieve all the desired scope by the end of iteration 8. However, like in life, there are no guarantees. If requests for additional scope comes in, it could still change the actual delivery date. So, should I be concerned at the moment, seeing as we haven't achieved our planned velocity yet? Not at all, we'll continue to monitor the velocity, and if it becomes clear in the next couple of iterations that we won't meet the plan, they will discuss possible options for you. Some of the options we might consider could be reducing the scope, revising the delivery date and adding more iterations, adding more resources. By updating our progress and displaying it on our project wall, the whole team, including yourself, can monitor and assess our actual delivery against our plan delivery, identify potential dysfunctions or highlight any planning risks. We update the burn-up chart after each iteration based on the work that is done. This means that a piece of work is ready for release. I like this. For me, as the HR manager, it's a simple but very clear management tool for me. It's good because it gives me an update on the progress of the work immediately and tells me if we need to make changes to the plan. In this Agile in Practice talk, you have seen how your team can use burn-up charts as big visible charts to measure and display the progress of the project. You may have heard of burn-down charts too. A burn-down chart is a big visible chart, but it's used to show progress during the iteration on a daily basis. Whereas a release burn-up chart shows the progress we're making against the release plan. You can find out more about burn charts in our knowledge hub, which is worth checking out on our website. If you want to learn more about Agile, the Agile Academy offers a range of courses delivered by accredited trainers and lots of open source material, which you can find on our website. If you have any questions, also feel free to contact us on our website or drop us a line on Twitter. Thank you and enjoy your Agile journey.